Hey, this is Nick Granville. I'm here to talk to you about the new Ibanez Tube Screamer. Uh, it's a new Tube Screamer. It's got a Korg made tube in it, uh, which kind of gives it a different characteristic. But the big feature for me is that it has a blend control between clean and overdrive. And what that does is the Tube Screamer tr traditionally had a um, a clean sound, bl direct sound blended with the overdrive. That's how they managed to keep a bit of clarity uh, with the sound. Well, with this you can dial it out or you can dial it in to your taste. So that gives it a unique kind of bunch of things about it. It's got your classic three controls. So you've got drive, you've got tone, and you've got level. Uh, and all three of the standard controls you have. So what I'm going to do today is there's a heap of demos on these pedals on the internet. They've taken a while to get to New Zealand for some reason, but now they're here. So I thought what I'd kind of cover is kind of uh, a shootout between this and a couple of other classic pedals that I have, um, Tube Screamers. So, so this is my clean sound. So just got a little bit of reverb from the Hall of Fame pedal. So this is the new Tube Screamer. I'm going to show you all controls at 12 o'clock and the clean boost right in the middle. So this is the drive on 12. This is the drive on none. So I'm going to put all the, tw the controls back to 12 and what I'm going to do now is kind of sweep through the range of how that clean to drive works. So this is the overdrive side, so the clean boost out. Now the clean boost up on full, so completely the other way. do is show you some sounds that are in comparison to a couple of other pedals. So here I have the Tube Screamer Mini, which is one that I really like, and then also the Ibanez TS-808DX, which is basically an 808 with a boost control. What I find is it has the right amount of clean blend. So this is the new Tube Screamer first. And now the 808DX. And now the Tube Screamer Mini. That's all three pedals with the controls right up the middle. So you can hear there's slight different characteristics with them all. So what would I recommend you get? Well, my recommendation would be if you want a classic Tube Screamer pedal, you can't go wrong with the Tube Screamer Mini. Uh, it'll fit on any board in New Zealand. They're about $100, maybe a little bit more. Um, but that's a bargain for what you get, which is the classic TS-8 Tube Screamer TS-9 type sound. Uh, it'll fit on any board. The bummer with it is it won't fit a battery. So if you need a battery, then get the new Tube Screamer. Um, sometimes I run things on batteries. If I do sound checks, I might just use a pedal and just not set up my whole board and just, you know, get that going to do sound check and then, you know, set up the whole lot later on. Uh, so that can be a thing. Um, if you're going to run it on a pedal board all the time, then get the Mini. Uh, if you're one of those people that are bugged by the blend of clean, how much clean is it is, then definitely get the new Tube Screamer. Because that's really cool to be able to control how much clean blend you get. You can get a wide variety of guitar tones, including using it as a boost. Uh, if you want a, a classic 808 sound with just an extra clean boost, then the Tube Screamer D 808 DX is, is fantastic. I really like it, but it's a big heavy pedal. So they're all trade-offs. It all depends which one you want. Like I said, if you want the classic Tube Screamer, you can't go wrong with the Mini. Um, if you want a little bit more, then get the new Tube Screamer. Um, yeah, well, thanks for watching. Um, my name's Nick Granville. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play you out on a bunch of different sounds. I'm going to set the drive on the pedal to about three quarters, and I'm just going to go through a few different pickup settings to show you what they sound like. So here's some sounds from the new Tube Screamer. <laughs> Thank you.
So remember to subscribe and like this video. And if you know if you dig it, share it with your friends and um, you know let them know about this stuff. I'm going to be producing more content on my page soon. Uh, I've been away in New Caledonia for a week playing with a great hammered organ player, Michelle Bennybig, and uh, company over there, which has been fantastic. Thanks very much. Cheers.